Hey everybody. This is my 125 gallon tank. Trying to get a look at my Tanapoma there, but all the rainbow fish decided they were going to photobomb me. So, as I mentioned, this is my 125 gallon tank. And recently I shot a video where I talked about treating this tank with Levamisol hydrochloride. I have some loaches in here that I believe have intestinal parasites and the levamisole is a common product for treating intestinal parasites. You can purchase the levamisole hydrochloride as a cattle or a goat dewormer and you can get it a lot cheaper than if you buy it for aquarium usages and this is what I've done. I've treated this tank with it before and I mentioned about having to calculate the dosage and get the dosage right in order to treat this 125 gallon tank. So I was asked by one of my viewers if I would shoot a video about the dosage and this is going to be that video. I'm not going to really bother with the dosage when I treat the tank. It's not a lot involved in just dumping some stuff in the tank. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and talk about it right now. And the dosage that you will normally see will be based on uh, levamisole base or just the free levamisole not the levamisole hydrochloride so when you're measuring out the levamisole hydrochloride you actually have to account for the hydrochloride weight and what it works out to in a nutshell is 2.36 milliliters I mean I'm sorry 2.36 milligrams per liter or nine milligrams per gallon and of course that would scale up to 90 milligrams for 10 gallons now this is a 125 gallon tank so I need 1125 milligrams which is basically 1.12 grams and I do have a small postal scale in the other room I will also add that the overdose amount of this medication is so much higher than the dosage amount that if you're not quite precise on the dosage and you put a little tiny bit too much in there then it won't be any kind of an issue whatsoever so if you don't have a scale that's super precise like mine doesn't measure down to the tenths of a gram or anything like that it's just a regular old postal scale so I'm not too worried about it. As long as I can get it somewhere between one and two grams, that will be enough of a dosage. There's ways you can measure it by the amount of, you know, per teaspoon. I think one teaspoon equals four grams or something like that. So the more important aspect of this video is going to be the link that I have left down below. That's going to be um, getting distracted by watching my rainbow fish in here doing their little spawning dance. Uh, there's a link to all of this information that I found out about this levamisole hydrochloride. I did a little bit of looking around and there's just one page that has the best information. It's all right there on one page and all the way down at the bottom is all of your dosing information. But it tells you everything you could possibly want to know about the levamisole and how to treat and what it's for and what kind of organisms it treats for and what you can expect and so on and so forth. It's a really good article uh, or page or whatever you want to call it and I will put a link down below to that so the basic dosage again is 2.36 milligrams per liter or 9 milligrams per gallon and this is of the levamisole hydrochloride and in this case I bought mine as a goat dewormer but it is also sold as a cattle dewormer but again, if you read the page, it goes into all sorts of different details about the different brands and the way they're made and so on and so forth. You know, we missed a little bit of excitement at the other end of the tank. My Tenopoma just chased after my snakeskin Garami for a moment. Never seen him do that before, but he did not seem happy with the snakeskin Garami. And chased him all the way down the other end of the tank fairly aggressively. It was interesting. I was kind of hoping they'd get along and pal around a little bit. They're very similar, and in fact, they're related technically. They're both labyrinth fish. Let's see which way he goes. I was wondering if he was going to go back into that corner. Maybe that's the reason my snakeskin garami spends so much time 
in the far right corner down there. I always wondered why it seems so shy and reclusive. Maybe every time it comes out, it gets chased around by my big old meanie Tenopoma right there. I've never seen him do that before. That was interesting. Wish I'd got it on video. So there you go, everybody. Just another look at my 125. Again, there's not really a point in me shooting a video, though I'm sure I probably will. Uh, when I actually do the treatment, it's just a matter of mixing it up in a cup in the other room. And then once I've got some, you know, dissolved in some water, I'm going to pour it in the tank. So I don't really see how, you know, I need to shoot a video of that. So there you go. Don't forget to check out that link down below. Lots and lots of very good information on that page if you're dealing with a skinny loach or thinking about treating with levamisole hydrochloride. So thanks again for watching this. Make sure you're subscribed. You never know what you're going to get with me. Don't forget this one is my 125-gallon tank. And I'll see you real soon in the next one.